Hey, a pleasant good afternoon, everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick Philadelphia Phillies versus watching a national series recap. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the channel. And also, subscribe over at Steel Flyers and Flyers Nitty Gritty if you like the Philadelphia Flyers hockey and want some great content there. Let's get right into it in the first game. Chase Anderson actually pitched a pretty respectable game. He went five innings, gave up two runs, only walked one at five strikeouts. And then Coonrod picked him up with an inning. Kinsler had two-thirds of an inning. The bullpen did really good in this game, didn't give up a run, Alvarado did good, Brogdon, and then Nearest closed it down, pitching the ninth inning in this ball game, that the Phillies were able to win 6-2, to two, led off of a homer by Bryce Harper, a Reese Hoskins single, a McCutcheon sack fly in the fourth, and then later in the game, Alec Bohm making it 4-2 to on a double, and then Andrew Knapp singling on a, singling on a sharp line drive to Schwarber to make it 6-2 to two for the insurance runs. <coughs> Excuse me. Knapp actually uh, has been doing really solid off of the bench um, as a catcher this year, especially when JT got injured. He's really filled in since Joe Girardi's first year. Looks like having a former catcher at manager has very much helped Andrew Knapp when JT was already a GOAT. Obviously, he seems to have gotten better uh, since Joe Girardi's come in. But that's how the first game was. Uh, I think Chase Anderson, if he can just kind of pitch like that, even just go five innings and just keep us in the game, the bullpen's been playing like this a lot. If he can just give those types of games going forward, I'm fine with that because he really is just a fifth starter. If you go five, he did that six inning the one time this year where he gave up, I think that was three runs maybe that game. Like anything like that from a fifth starter is a bonus giving up just two runs in five. I don't expect five starters to go that deep in the games, but that might just be me. I don't know what other people's opinions are on that. Now in the second game, the Phillies went minus one run, but one in ten innings at a five to two score. This was actually a very exciting game, obviously, because um, the Phillies were actually down in this ball game two to one after Alex Avila tripled um, in the sixth inning, and this went all the way to the ninth inning when Odubel Herrera hit a game tying home run, and then they got to the tenth inning in the top of the tenth, uh, re-singled to score Nap. And then Maton singled to score Harper. Nick Maton's just been doing great. That's why they're probably rumored to put him in center, not because they want to put him there, uh, because he's you, you're out of position. It's going to have to learn how to field there. There's all those different angles, who blah, blah. And it's not that they want to put him there. It's just that you might want that bad in the lineup. But, of course, the rare hit a home run has been looking solid, too. So now you might just have to turn uh, Maton into that Zobris guy that you kind of just put wherever uh, to get his bad in the lineup. But anyway, he came up big in the game. And then Andrew Knapp again coming up big in the first game. Then coming up big in this game. Gets you the insurance runs again. Getting you the fifth run on a single that Nick Maton was able to score on. Well, it's nice to see Knapp continue to do well. It's nice to see Nick Maton also continue to do well in whatever role they put him in. And then in this game, Alvarado was able to get the win to move to 3-0 and and start off continuing his good season out of the bullpen. And then Hector Neeris picked up the save in this game, and Brogdon went one and a third, too. After Wheeler went six innings and two earned runs, one really shouldn't have been earned because it was on that drop ball that Herrera and Harper didn't catch when, obviously, they should have caught that ball. But it did end up being earned because of the rule in baseball that if it doesn't hit a glove, then it goes as a hit and an earned run. But that's just the way it is. That's unfortunate for Zach Wheeler. But he pitched well in this game. Alvarado is able to get the win, and Hector Neres is able to get the save, which became his seventh. And then in the final game of this series, the Nationals got the best of the Phillies. Uh, the Phillies already won the series two games to one. Unfortunately, in this game, uh, Zach Eflin had a struggle when he started his more off start of the year. He only threw probably three off pitches. It's just those are the pitches they really expose him on. He still had nine strikeouts, looked solid, but gave up two home runs on those mistake pitches. De Los Santos came in and did solid in a relief effort to save the bullpen, and so did Matt Moore, both going an inning, giving up nothing, and both throwing one strikeout. But this was just a game that the Phillies ended up, the Nationals basically took it to the Phillies like the Phillies took it to the Nationals in the first two games. The only good part about this game is the Phillies actually ran on the bases and had two steals. Other than that, they did practically nothing offensively. Schwarber homered um, for the Nationals. Josh Bell homered for the Nationals. And then Starling Castro doubled in the bottom of the sixth to make it 5-1. to one. So that's how that game was recapped. That was... Obviously not a good game put in by the Phillies, but the Phillies already won a series, and that's already a win for them on the road. So they're going in from winning a series to now playing Toronto, which I believe 
is uh, still in their minor league uh, ballpark, so they're going to play them in TD Ballpark to, against the uh, Blue Jays. I'll be doing a preview to that series coming up in a couple hours. I hope you enjoyed this series recap where the Phillies were actually finally able to win a road series, an unfortunate last game of the series, but they were able to win the series in the first two, so that's fortunate there. Have a great day and pleasant day, everybody, and enjoy the Phillies baseball. Peace out.